Has anyone noticed this yet, by the way? I, I'm just pointing it out now in case you haven't. Now, of course, like, there's gonna be two whole pages of comments saying, Look this nail! Look this nail! I'm gonna be like, did anybody notice it? So, then, and now you'll notice it if you, if you haven't. Um, okay, so this is, no one can hear you? Is that mm -hmm. it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, can we get a happy episode again? Good <laughs> God! It's like the past three were directed by Clint Eastwood or something like, yeah, everything's dark, everything's depressing, and yeah, fun! <laughs> oh, come on, the last one had a happy ending. I, it, it, I think. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what he felt well, under the thing there. He but, saved uh, everyone. He. he well, yeah, okay, no, no, no. Like, they all have happy endings, but it's like, dude, okay, so we got... I really thought this one was like a dream. I didn't think it was mm. uh, really going on. You got this... Uh, you got this deer that comes in, is just like licking people, which you don't think is that bad, and then Finn and Jake try to stop him. Uh, okay, not as bad as it's going to be, as we find out. It's like he licks a person, it's like, ew, that's annoying, and not, oh my god, oh my god I can't god, move, it's now. trapping me. <laughs> Did you say lick him now? Yeah, but it's not that annoying, or it's just a little Dude, bit it's annoying. It's not that bad. It, no, because it's a little bit annoying. It, it, did you miss the keyword annoying? No, don't do that. <laughs> Plenty of time for that later. <laughs> um, so Finn gets his legs all, you know, uh, all injured and stuff and gets knocked Whatever. out. And he wakes up, he thinks like a day later, turns out it's months later, and Jake got hit on his head and he goes a little crazy, which makes me wonder, like, how... Where is his brain in there? Well, what is there to injure? Because he can change into anything. I was kind of wondering that. But so he's gone crazy, and it's just sort of them living with their craziness. It, it kind of like a waiting for Godot <laughs> setup, kind of. And eventually, Finn goes down into the sewer, finds all the people are stuck to these walls and in prison and stuff because the deer, it turns out, is an evil licking deer. Because his licking can stick people to walls, sort of like stickers. And he takes off his hooves and their hands and, like, nothing else. <laughs> I, and I think that's my favorite joke, because I am waiting for him to take the hooves off and then the antlers. And then unzips it, but no, just the hooves. Nothing else. <laughs> that's hugely funny. <laughs> um, and even just the way he does the hands, just... I mean, it's like the knife and claws are weird. They're just <laughs> normal hands. That, that was my favorite part. Okay, so uh, so he knocks out Jake again. He gets back to normal, and they save the day. And that's, I mean, that's it. But good God, like this one made me feel like uncomfortable watching it. I mean, you know, I, I think in a good way. I mean, I think that was the intention. But I just felt like just really uncomfortable. Well, think about it. How many jokes were actually in this episode? When you get down to it, it was very joke-free. I mean, there, there are a couple, those... but it's more like, how creepy can Jake get? It's a... What is up with Naruto, okay? He is like a total camera whore now. Welcome Why to... are you such a camera whore? Because I can be. It can be. Come on, scratch me. He's, he's a total scratcher. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Because you, you give, give him attention. attention. Give That's me. why. Good. Good. Yeah. All right, keep talking about the episode. This will entertain while you boringly <laughs> talk. Leave our, leave the cat alone. Leave the cat alone. Leave the no, cat alone. He wants to play. Yes, don't you? You want to play? Yes. They're all waiting for his birthday party. Okay, enough of that. Um, no, the cat's like, what are you doing? What the hell? <laughs> it's just gonna be like mystery kitty theater now. You just see the back of my head. And I'm like, <laughs> he'll make fun of us. He'll riff on us. <laughs> um. But yeah, you were saying. <laughs> They can go back now. <laughs> Someone's lost his mind. No, I mean, look at how many jokes were actually in this. And even the jokes weren't on the whole, like, haha, that's funny. It's more on the, that's really bizarre, that's really strange. Yeah, like, is it disturbing and uncomfortable? Well, like, him just laying there and, like, you see, a, like, a bug just come out of his ear and you're like, ha ha, I think. And then a <laughs> whole bunch do it. It's like, do I laugh or what do I, how do I exactly go out about this? When he has his puppets... You know, it's like, ah, ah, ah. wow, that's actually really kind of disturbing and creepy. 
it had good um a lot of good atmosphere oh, in it yeah. too in just when he wakes up and nobody's around and but the it, echo even yeah the echo nobody's there uh is very uh what 20 days later is that yeah. the name of that yeah, yeah. um uh remind me a lot of that well, and how about with the, all the candy people stuck to the wall reminded me of aliens yeah very alien without a um, doubt <laughs> and uh and, and yeah, and like that was creepy and kind of unsettling. And so I I really thought it was like he got knocked out. And this was all gonna be like his dream or something like that. It's just like no, they can't go this dark and this unsettling. Yeah. Uh, and it's yeah, Jake for the first time is actually pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first time that you made him like legitimately like I'm I'm kind of afraid of you, Jake. He lost his freaking mind. Yeah. Um, I still love though when Finn uh, gets his legs broken like twice. Crack, crack, and he's like, whatever. <laughs> that, and then of course at the end, Jake, are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? Legs are still broken. He <laughs> 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 says it like, yeah, whatever. My legs are still broken. Um, I think the only other thing that it's gonna sound like a weird nitpick, but uh, you nitpick? Yeah, I know. Imagine uh, when they save everybody at the end. It's like whatever. The whole candy kingdom is supposed oh. to be down. Was there like five people? that were hanging on at the end there? That was a little weird. And, I mean, wouldn't it be funny if it was, like, the entire kingdom and somehow they were all hanging on or something? Like, that would be great. Um, and then, like, I I didn't know about that sugar line either. Was that... Oh, the one with Princess Bubblegum? Hey, yeah, just he like, wanted our sugar, but I wouldn't give him any, if, if you know, know what, what I mean. mean. Well, <laughs> then look at Finn. He's just kind of like... Like, he doesn't even know how to answer that. He's like, um, let's go now. I get a feeling like somebody that was almost like a dare, like they're writing and they're just like, somebody said that line, it's like, no, I dare you to actually put that in the show. I see if we get that past the censors. <laughs> and uh, they did. I'm really shocked a lot of this stuff. Well, watching Can't it. Can't get past the censors. I mean, even the breaking of those legs was oh, pretty yeah. gruesome. Well, while we were watching Jory sitting there when the deer licks himself, like, Finn's oh, like, yeah, that's hey, right. it's you! And the deer just kind of looks and licks himself and then goes off and Jory's like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's like, the legs broken are okay, the people stuck to walls going, ah, and they're looking all creepy. People getting eaten alive in the couple before, that was okay, but a deer licking himself, hey, censors, do your job! I would say, I think as long as they don't show what he's licking, <laughs> like, you can get away with it. It's, it's weird. Censorship is so odd. Um... But, uh, I, it was good. It was a good episode. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually personally one of my favorites just because it's so, it's so atmospheric. And, and it's so atmospheric and so, like, non-joke mm. heavy. Like, there's so few jokes throughout this whole thing, and instead of relying on the jokes, it relied more on just the bizarreness of the situation. Yeah, and I like how, um... Yeah, I like how Jake, there, there's almost this strange tragedy to Jake in uh -huh. this one. And you feel legitimately bad. Now, of course, when he gets his head knocked back, he's like, oh, I'm fine, whatever. And I'm sure he'll forget about it. But it's like, yeah, it's just, you just feel bad that just for months he's been doing this and he's just chasing this dream that'll never come, you know, and yeah. he's deluded himself. And it's just, it's really sad. Like, it reminds me a lot of Wayne for Godot. Uh, just these two crazy people waiting for something that'll probably never come. Um, and it's just like, yeah, there's just, I was just like, wow, there's like something kind of deep here almost. But it's like, it's so crazy and insane. It's hard to uh, put more words to that. <laughs> so, yeah. Weird. She could be in the next one because I'm tired of looking over there. She should be. You gonna be in the next one? Maybe. Meryl. You and your natural defenses. Meryl. Next one. Jory and or Cat. Or both. Probably neither. She'll be in the next one whether she likes it or not. Bye!